Hey guys, welcome to IMDb8 Recaps. Today I will explain an American science fiction fantasy action horror movie, Outlander, released in 2008. The film is about a man who crash landed his spacecraft on Earth and brings a ferocious killer alien which humans have never seen before and it starts killing many people. All metal weapons become futile as it has no effect on the alien species. Check the video to find out what happens next. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel as your support is critical for our growth and beware of the spoilers. The movie opens at night, and we see a spaceship which crashes on Earth and ends up falling into a lake. A man named, Kynon comes out of it while dragging his friend, but he discovers that his friend has already passed away. The following day, Kynon opens his eyes after hallucinating about his wife and son and learns everything about humans in a very short time with the help of a machine. Kynon leaves to check his surroundings and finds a village that has been completely ruined, but he sees no dead bodies there. He notices a giant claw on the door of a house. After a while, he listens to a sound, and as he reaches the jungle to investigate, Wolfric captures and knocks him out to take him back to his tribe. The movie then switches to a girl named Freya, who is practicing swordsmanship with her father Rolker, who asks her to marry Wolf Uric as he is getting old and wants to ensure her daughter is in safe hands before his death, but she denies marrying Wolf Uric and gets injured. Coincidentally, Wolf Uric arrives and tries to convince Freya that he will take care of her, but she does not pay heed to him and leaves. After Freya leaves, Wolf Uric reveals to Freya's father, the king of their tribe, that he has captured a man who seems to be from an outer space and mentions the situation of the village of their rival, Gunnar, who is away for some trade. Rolger orders to investigate Kainan, otherwise, they will be led to war. Wolfric and his men try to investigate Kainan, and he informs them about a dragon he wants to capture and starts grappling with them when they do not believe him, but he is easily overpowered. Wolfric returns to Freya, who is working in the kitchen and gives her the responsibility of taking care of the prisoner, otherwise, she will be responsible for his death. Wolfric talks to Rolger and shows his desire to kill Gunnar, but he does not allow him to do it and states that Wolfuric only wants to revenge his father's death. Rothger then advises Wolfuric that he cannot become the king until he masters the art-taking decision without any emotions. Meanwhile, Kynon manages to access a red-hot iron rod and attempts to set himself free and then Freya arrives to take care of him. On being asked, Freya gives water to Kynon, and sooner she discovers that Kynon's hands are free, but he knocks her out. Kynon's guard, Bonjour, arrives there, but Kynon gains the upper hand on him and leaves the room. At night the guards of the tribe's residence get killed by the tentacles of an invisible creature. The tentacles kill many of the people of the tribe, and Kynon tries to help and recognizes the strange creature as Morwen. Morwen leaves after killing many people, while Kynon is captured and bound to the well when he tries to follow Morwen. He opens his eyes in the morning after dreaming about his wife and spots a little boy sitting and eating bread in front of him. Before the boy could have given bread to Kynon, guards take away Kynon and present him to the king, who is wondering what attacked his tribe last night. Kynon tries to inform them about Morwen, but they do not believe him. Kynon persuades Rothgar to let him help them so that he can find where the creature is hiding as there is a very good chance that it will attack again. After that, they take Kynon with them, but his hands are kept bound, and before he can leave, Freya slaps him hard to take her revenge. On their way to find their predator, Kynon talks to Rothgar about what happened to his people and how he ended up here but he hides the fact that he has come from space. They arrive at the center of the jungle, and despite Kynon's request to stay together, Rothgar orders his men to separate in pairs. Eventually, after wandering everywhere in the wilderness, they encounter a gigantic bear in a cave. The bear kills one of their men and is about to massacre Rothgar, but Kynon saves him. They all attack the bear together and kill it. The king sets Kynon free and gives him a sword. A party is arranged at the bear's death, and Kynon is welcomed into the tribe that night. Rothgar asks him to have dinner with him, and he encounters the same boy who gives him bread. The boy wants to see the sword, but Kynon trades the sword for his name, and he introduces himself as Eric. Rothgar informs Kynon that Eric is an orphan and will be looked after by the tribe. After that, Wolfric challenges Kynon in a game named Shields and Kynon, in his attempt, gives a tough time to Wolfric, but he falls after the shield is broken. Wolfric gives him a hand, and they have a good time together. Kynon is seen near the well when Freya comes to see and thanks him for saving his father and bringing him back to her. Kynon tries to talk to her about Morwen, but then the tribe is attacked by Gunnar and his men. During the ambush, a man is about to kill Eric, but Kynon saves him. On the other hand, Gunnar gains the upper hand on Rothgar, but Kynon interferes and saves him. Gunnar and his men acknowledge their defeat and leave Rothgar's tribe. On his way back, Gunnar warns Rothgar that he will come back to revenge his family's death and Rothgar seems surprised at this announcement. Kynon washes his face and spots Eric weeping beside the well, and he joins Eric to comfort him. Kynon meets Freya, who looks at his wound and starts cleaning it. 
Meanwhile, Gunnar and his men start planning how to face the counterattack by Wolfric. But during this, Morwen assails his men and starts killing them one by one. Gunnar encounters Morwen and attacks it, but in vain. Gunnar and his men start running to Rothgar's tribe, but they assail them, thinking they are playing a trick on them. Kynon arrives and allows Gunnar and his men inside the Rothgar's tribe while they all spot Morwen killing one of Gunnar's men. Following that, Rothgar gathers everyone, and Wolfric starts arguing with Gunnar and does not believe what he is saying. Kynon tries to calm Wolfric but asks him to stay quiet as he is not one of them. The king also considers Kynon an outlander at that time but admits that Kynon is right. Rothgar questions Kynon about what to do with Morwen and suggests setting up a trap to kill Morwen. Rothgar orders everyone to follow what Kynon says. On the first day, Kynon marks the boundaries and orders the men to dig up the specified area. Kynon keeps preparing the traps and uses a large amount of whale oil to burn more when. Eric cuts his hair and spends time with Kynon. Eventually, the catch is set, and now they just wait for Morwen's next attack. At night, Kynon comes to Freya's room and has dinner with her. While having dinner, Kynon mentions to her that he is not a good man and considers himself responsible for many deaths. He tells her that he and his people have killed millions of Morwens by burning them alive to get their planet. They killed all of the Morwens and settled in their world. He says he was happy with his son and wife there. But one of the Morwens was left alive, killing his family, and he ended up here. Freya encourages him and gives him the king's sword, stating she is supposed to hand over this sword to a good man and she has found the one worthy of having it. Kynon leaves Freya's room and joins Wolfric to implement their plan of trapping Morwen. Wolfric and Kynon advance toward the jungle to lure Morwen and find it standing right in front of them. As Morwen heads toward them, a priest interferes and is killed. Morwen starts chasing Wolfric and Kynon and consequently gets trapped. Wolfric also falls inside the trap, but Kynon rescues him, and Morwen is burnt. Meanwhile, Freya is hiding with other ladies, and as they get excited thinking they have killed Morwen, the baby Morwen attacks the women, and Freya stays in her place to face it. Meanwhile, Mother Morwen is still alive and assails the villagers. Kynon and Wolfric try to fight with Morwen, but they fail to do any harm due to their weak weapons. Rothgar reaches to save Freya and gets injured while protecting her. Kynon arrives and he sees Rothgar injured. Rothgar then gives over the king's badge to Kynon and passes away in his daughter's arm. After that, they ask people to leave the village while Kynon and Walfuric stay with some warriors to get rid of Morwens. Eric requests Kynon to join them, but he promises that they will all return to this place and live happily afterwards. Kynon shows a well to his friends and reveals that they will attack Morwens from here as one of them came through. Following that, Outlander, Freya, and Wolfric are seen in the lake where Kynon's ship landed, and he dives to bring the metal to make stronger swords that can kill Morwen. As he returns, he discovers that Freya is missing while Wolfric is lying unconscious. He returns to the village and orders his friend, Boromir, to make the swords with the metal he has brought. Boromir makes a king's sword and gives it to Kynon, but he passes it to Wolfric. After that, more weapons are made from the same metal. Kynon gets into the well and reaches a cave where Wolfric and his warriors join him. They keep looking everywhere but do not find the alien creature. On the other hand, Freya regains consciousness and finds herself on a pile of dead bodies. Baby Morwen spots her, and before it can kill her, it gets distracted by the noises made by Kynon and his friend. But instead of killing Freya, the baby Morwen rushes to attack Kynon and his friends. After a while, the younger Morwen strikes them and kills everyone except Kynon and Wolfric, but it also gets injured in the process. Freya manages to get herself out of the dead bodies and screams for help. Kynon and Wolfuric start following the sound, and as Freya tries to leave the cave, she finds injured Morwen standing in front of her. She heads back, but Morwen senses her motion and is about to kill her, but Kynon arrives and throws his sword at her. Freya beheads Morwen before it can kill her, and Kynon and Wolfric console her. They all look surprised after looking at the dead bodies that Morwen has collected and then escape from the place. Mother Morwen opens her eyes and finds the dead body of baby Morwen. The trio then reach a waterfall, where Freya gets in trouble while trying to leave. Kynon saves her, and she starts climbing back. Meanwhile, Morwen arrives and attacks Wolfuric, who tries to defend, but Morwen injures him badly. Kynon picks up his sword and faces Morwen. Morwen hides and injures Kynon but he manages to stand up and gets his sword. Morwen tries to attack him from behind, but Freya attacks it, and Kynon notices it. Kynon hurts Morwen and is about to fall with Morwen, but Freya holds his hand and pulls him back. Morwen does not leave Kynon's arm, and finally, Kynon kills Morwen by cutting its arm. Freya and Kynon return to Wolfric, who asks Kynon to be the king and passes away. Freya and Kynon leave reach where they spot their people and stop them from moving away. Kynon returns the king's badge to Freya and asks her to wait for her people. He has something important to do. Kynon dives into the stream, looks at his beloved wife's dead body for the last time, 
and returns to the surface while picking up a machine. Kainan uses the machine to contact his people, and as they are about to arrive to get him, Kainan destroys the source of signals, which causes them to return. Freya realizes what Kainan has done and smiles. In the following scene, Kainan burns the martyrs' bodies, narrating that Kainan decided to stay on Earth and got Freya as his wife and Eric as his lost son, and the movie ends here. Overall, Outlander is a great movie to watch with a fantastic storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this please don't forget to subscribe, as we really need your support to continue posting contents. Please like this video and let us know in the comment section about your next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching, and stay safe and healthy.